<clears throat> hey guys, it's Coastal Carolina Aquatics here. I just wanted to go over uh, my top 10 fish for beginners personally that I've had experience with keeping. Um, here I have some live bearers. You got your molly, your platy, and your uh, swordtail. These fish are really cool looking. They are probably the number one fish you want to start a cycling on a tank with. They come in tons of different colors and variations like lyre tail and sailfin. They are relatively hardy. I have had some that have died quickly. But most of the time, these things are going to last at least a year, if not several. I currently have one Swordtail in my community tank. And he's been in there for two years now. And he's been through ick and he's been through filter malfunctions. He's really just a, he's just a tank out of... I started off with two Mollies and two Swordtails uh, two years ago. And I lost three of them to Ick, and I still have one in there, and he's still going strong. Alright, here we have one of the biggest problems that people have. In These fish are called a Plecostomus or a Pleco. Uh, on the left side is the common Pleco. These things are sold in fish stores at a couple inches long, and they grow into this huge monster. The best substitution for the common pleco that I would recommend is the bristle nose. These are pretty cheap. They look cool as you can see from their nose and they only get four or five inches long. Here is the betta fish, one of the most controversial topics in uh, aquarium hobbyists. People think that these fish are going to kill whatever you put them with, but it's just not the case. As long as you don't get two males together, these fish are very peaceful and will get along with almost anybody. In some cases, you can have several females together called the sorority. But these fish are just stunning in any tank. People, when they see them, they're, they get confused. They think that these are the fighting fish, the killer fish. And when they see them swimming with other fish, they get, they're just astonished. Here's the blue ram cichlid, the only cichlid on this list. Um, this is not a fish that you're going to want to start cycling with, but this is a great starter cichlid. You, these things are extremely peaceful. You can put these in community tanks as a centerpiece. They got that nice electric blue coloring on them. If you want to start getting into cichlid breeding, this is a great fish to start with. They don't need a lot of room. They don't get very big. They're very peaceful, and they're relatively hardy. All right, here we have the tiger barb. These things get about one to two inches long. They're semi-aggressive. They move very quickly. They like to dart around. If you spook these things, they can hit the glass pretty hard and damage themselves. Also, you don't want to put these with long-finned fish. They'll dart around and tear up their fins, but these things look really cool if you get a whole bunch of them. All right, here's probably one of the coolest fish on this list, the upside-down catfish. I love this fish. They're one of the hardiest catfishes, in my opinion. Um, another catfish that's really good is the Cory Cat. These things, I think, are just look extra cool because they swim upside down. They like to stay under, like, leaves of plants if you have some in there. They'll clean up the bottom um, pretty good. They don't make a lot of mess. They're very passive. They're hardy, and they just look awesome. All right, here's one of the coolest looking fish as well as or going off like color variation is the gourami. On the left here, I have a three-spot gourami pictured. The three-spot gourami is known as like the most aggressive gourami. I would not recommend this fish on the left for beginners. And uh, um, But all gouramis can be aggressive just make sure you look at the type that you're getting most of the time they're going to be peaceful just keep an eye on them um, all gouramis can be aggressive and all can be peaceful a lot of it depends on the individual gourami. but I would give these fish a try if you're looking for something colorful they're really cool looking all right here's one of my biggest problem fish a lot of people really like these fish is the the fancy guppy pictured on the right and then you have a regular guppy on the left I have only tried to keep fancy guppies because I think they look cool and they and their huge tails just look awesome when they're swimming around. 
but I've noticed that these fancy guppies, people say guppies last forever. I've never had a guppy last, last more than a month. I, I put them in tanks with, you know, sore tails and mallies, and the sore tails and the mallies are thriving, and they're fine. These guppies will die off within a week. Um, I've heard, like, maybe the breeder that my local fish store is getting for getting them with is raising them in like slightly salty water and they're and once I put them in my completely fresh water tank they just can't handle the transition I really don't know what my problem is I've never tried keeping just a plain guppy which are supposed to be hardier than the fancy but it's a really cool looking fish and I would give it a try maybe you'll have better luck than me all right here's the rainbow fish these fish look awesome in planted tanks. If you get four or five rainbow fish and a, maybe two or one angelfish in a planted tank, the angelfish are going to be moving around slowly and these things are going to have a little bit more speed. It just looks awesome. These are one of my favorite looking fish for a planted tank. Alright, here's a video of my... 30-gallon uh, community tank that I have going on, on right now, and this is probably one of the most unknown starter fish that I would definitely recommend. These things are called the golden killifish. These things are absolute tanks, the absolute hardest, hardiest fish I have ever had. These things have gone through ick, filter malfunctions, you name it, they can handle it. These things will not die. They swim toward, they're like surface dwellers, but they'll, they'll swim around your tank. They have this awesome color. Here's the female. She is less colored. I have three males and one female. I didn't mean to do that. That's just what I got with my fish. Uh, the males are not aggressive towards each other at all, even though there's only one female. These fish are extremely peaceful, really cool looking, and extremely hardy. If you see these at your